Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Toya from the Classy Sassy Life. Today is a different type of video. My top five tips for new planner babes. Here we go. Tip number one, don't go broke. Okay, there's so much out there guys. So many different planner companies. There's from Walmart planners to Michaels planners to Erin Condren planners and so many more. There's so much out there and it can be overwhelming. Um, and the, the, and the planner world is becoming really cluttered with so many different types of planners and so many sticker shops and sticker books and all of that. But don't go broke guys. Find your area that you like and stick with that. Um, I wish if I could go back and tell myself this, I wouldn't have gone broke. <laughs> and I didn't really go broke, but I spent a lot of money. Um, and some of it was wasted on just going out and purchasing so much planner stuff. So don't go broke, guys. And that leads me into tip number two. Start with one planner. I started with five, I think. Yeah, I had two minis, two classic size, and one large planner. Um, and I ended up only using two of those planners on a regular basis, which was my mini, which I call my personal planner. And I use my teacher planner because I'm a teacher and I love planning in my planner. I love having it out on my desk. Um, I use some things that I DIY'd and I will leave links to all of these videos um, down below. But I only ended up using two, and if I wasn't a teacher, I probably would have ended up only using one. So start with one planner and see where there's a need for another planner before you go out and just purchase five and don't use it. Because the thing about planners, guys, especially those that are dated, that's just it. They're dated. So if you get a 12-month planner and you don't use it at all and it's October and it goes out in December, you wasted a lot of money. So just make sure that you start with one, see the need for two or three, and then progress from there. Function over fancy. That's tip number three, guys. What I mean by that is Know what you're getting ready to write down. Know when you need a checklist. Know when you need to put an appointment down um, before you just start putting all of your decorating stickers on there, okay? Um, the whole purpose of a planner is to keep you organized and to keep you um, functioning at your top level. And I just think that sometimes we see all these beautiful spreads on Instagram and watch these plan with me videos and we forget that these ladies who are planning or fella or fellas um, who are planning in these planners they have lives that they're living guys and they're just not decorating to be decorating most of the time 90% of the time all of the things that they're writing down, they serve a purpose. So make sure that when you get into this planner life and you get into these paper planner products that you make sure that you're using your planner for what it's meant for and that's to help you function and keep you organized. Um, tip number four, pick a style. So that comes in two different categories. So let's talk about the first one. You have a spiral bound planner and you have what's called a disc bound planner. I'll talk about disc bound in a minute. Let me cover spiral. These are some examples of spiral bound planners. You have the Recollections and you have Erin Condren. Um, the difference between these planners is um, price point and there's some other specific like just minute differences um, but I cannot quote those because I am not a spiral bound girl. Um, with spiral planners the way they come is the way that they come. Um, but I am a girl who likes to move things around who likes to change things a lot so I go with a disc bound system. This one is um, made by the Happy Planner. You can see that little right there. This is made by the Happy Planner. Um, I love the disc because I can easily say for instance I need this sheet of paper because I need to write some notes. Pop it right out. Okay, I make sure I don't lose it. Pop it right back in. So I prefer disc bound. And there are two different disc bound um, planners that I know about. One is the Happy Planner. The other is the um, Art planner I believe is what it is but I'll post the picture here and that's with staples 
I prefer happy plan. I'm just a happy planner girl. Um, so decide if you want to be spiral bound or disc bound. Are you going to want to change things up, remove things, put things in different places? Or are you going to want to keep things where they are? You don't want to do a lot of changing and basically making the planner itself unique to you. Now what I mean by that is planners come in multiple layouts and just now Happy Planner has created an additional layout for us. Well, two additional layouts. So I'm going to kind of run through the types of layouts that are out there. The main two layouts are vertical and horizontal. So this is a horizontal layout. Then you have your vertical layout, and this is a vertical layout. These are your two basic layouts. Decide if you want to plan horizontally or vertically. Vertical planners, um, they are separated. Most of them are separated into three. So like you can do a morning, afternoon, evening, or if you're like myself, I use it for my home life, and it just covers a lot of things. It covers fitness, it covers meals, and it covers cleaning or things that I need to do at, for my home in that particular in those three areas some people use it morning afternoon evening other people can use it for something totally different or they only use two sections and completely leave the middle section for decorating so there's tons of ways to use um, a vertical layout me and my big ideas if you don't know who they are they are maybe the happy planner um, Stephanie Fleming is the CEO um, and I will leave a link to their YouTube channel Instagram page down below um, but they created um, the happy girl line which came out with a couple of different layouts there is the um, hourly layout and then you have a monthly layout I love the monthly layout it is a trendsetter it is my absolute favorite planner um, so far by <laughs> like it is my love I absolutely love it I hope that the ha the happy planner girl line is coming back out again um, you know different decor but same kind of layout I love it it's it's monthly based if you have not seen me plan in it I will leave a card here so you guys can see um, how to plan it and what it looks like and then uh, like I said there's the hourly I don't personally have the hourly I don't see a need for it so decide how you want to plan if you are um, a very busy person you work in a um, business field or anything where you have tons of meetings and you have phone calls to make or you, or if you are a secretary or administrative assistant you need all of these hours to be laid out a certain way I will get an hourly um, I use my monthly for I use my monthly layout specifically for um, social media but I'm about to start school and I have not I have yet to purchase a student edition planner and I'm not sure if I will because I love the way it's laid out it's daily checklist on there for every single day and I feel like my mind may work better planning that way and I'll let you guys know how that goes when school starts for me in May um so yeah pick a style start with one if you don't like the way that feels do a different one the great thing about the happy planner line is that it comes with um it comes with extension packs so if you get a classic size um but i don't think there's a horizontal classic size extension pack but you can get um extension packs to just see how you like it so there is a um monthly layout extension pack there's also a hourly layout if i'm not mistaken so you can grab these additional things they're undated and you can use them in some way or form make it yours guys use it for what you need it for if you purchased it because you're a teacher Plan in it, teachers. If you purchased it because you want to keep up with the errands that you're running, use it. Okay? Set it up for you. Add folders, DIY folders. I know that some there are some additional, they have like the spiral bound has a few things that you can add in. Grab those. Make it yours. Like for my happy planner, I have um, I keep six months in my mini and I keep three months of all three planners in my classic um, and I keep a dashboard with the current month there I also keep a folder back here in the back um, and I keep another dashboard right behind my folder in addition to that I have a envelope let me pop this out 
how cute is that and this is where I keep receipts because my personal planner goes with me everywhere if I don't have it in my purse it's in my son's diaper bag his book bag so I always have it with me and this is where receipts go so I don't have to look for them so guys that's gonna wrap this up so I'm gonna quickly run back through my top five tips and advice for new beginners for this um, mini series number one don't go broke Two, start with one planner. Three, function over fancy. Um, you want to make sure that you use it for what you purchased it for. Number four, pick a style. Horizontal, vertical, monthly, hourly, disc bound, spiral bound. Pick one. Start somewhere. If you want to use a planner, you got to start somewhere, guys, but start with one. And my last tip, use it. Don't just decorate your planner and have it looking all cute and then don't use it. Don't make a checklist that you never check anything off of. Use it. I know times get difficult and things get busy and life is hectic, but this will help you as far as organization is concerned. I hope this video was helpful to someone. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this series. I hope you guys really enjoyed this series. I enjoyed making it. I talked a little more than I wanted to, um, but I really enjoyed making this series and I want to do more series like this. So if you're interested in additional series that you would like to see, leave me a comment down below. Let me know any advice that you would give to new planner babes that I may have missed in this series. I want to hear from you guys and see what you guys think. Thanks so much for um, watching please make sure you give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment down below click the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any episodes in this series keep God first in everything you do and plan a classy and sassy life guys bye